Good morning, everybody. Today, I got a trailer here to haul my cow Saki Terex on. And I just got this yesterday. And I want to put some E-Track down to try to help secure it a little bit better. Because I plan on going to, to Arizona Christmas time. I got another trailer that I haul that mule on. That mule is so much bigger and heavier. I don't need a big trailer for it to haul that one. And that trailer out there that I hauled the mule on, it weighs a little over 1,700 pounds. This trailer only weighs 900 with a load capacity of 2,000, 2,021, 2,100 pounds, I'm sorry. And then that Terex there only weighs right about 1,400, so I got plenty to spare. It's 12 feet long, including that two-foot dovetail. I originally thought I was going to put that E-Track lock all the way from the back to the front, but when I get the mule, the Terex loaded up on there, the tire comes right to there. That's where I want to have it parked at. That mark, and then the front tire is right here, so plenty of room. And that's just a little bit less than 10 feet. So I bought these two 10 foot pieces, which they was 20, $28. I didn't want to buy another piece and cut it up, but what I want to have to do, and I thought, well, I went to another place and bought that two foot piece but that was eleven dollars for that two foot piece i'll take it back because it's actually not even really very good at all right here is a counter dine or something but they said watch out for that cheaper stuff because you can't get your locks in sometimes and now i see what they mean with this laying down flat on this better brand Here comes Leah. I want to take a break and unload groceries. You no, know, what I was reading is some surveys and reviews of this track. This right here is American made, and you know it works pretty decent. And this one. They said you got to put a spacer along here and here to raise this up just a little bit. Because if you mount it to a floor, you can't get the hooks in. Which I don't see. I mean, that's kind of the odd thing is, but it's right on the ground on the floor. And they won't hardly go in there at all because it's hitting. So you do have to space it out. So, which that doesn't make no sense. I mean, that's a lot of work to put an extra layer just that wide on there. But this has got a little bit higher ridge, and that works fine. But that, turn it around where you can see. See, it just likes to get it under there. Yeah, plus it don't lock too good to start with, even when it does lock. You get it down on the ground. So I don't know. I'm not going to use them two pieces anyway. That, that piece right there, I'm going to take them back. Come to find out the mule is center to center on the tire on the rear over there is 49 inches and on the front it's well after further manage, measurement they both show to be center to center 49 and a half inches but well, I would do a little more measuring on that part. Okay, I got the channels cut to fit down inside. And I got to measure to where the center of the wheels are going to be. And when I fasten these down, a lot of people say just screw them to the wood. But I'm not going to do that. I will screw, screw them to the wood some. But I'm going to take, since I have access to a, a lift, my brother has a lift. I want to, where the frame is, you see the frame right through there, I want to drill a hole and put a bolt through this and through the frame. 
on each side. Then up here, I want to put it up on the lift. And under there, I want to weld a plate. Probably about a, oh, until it comes back to about right to here. Somewhere right in that area, underneath the bottom. Then I weld a plate over there and I fasten that down and drill that and fasten it through the plate. But wherever there's an angle across for a frame, right there, I want to drill that. Look like I probably this hole here might line up okay. And then this one, I might have to re-drill a hole to get it to go through the plate or through the, through the frame. And then the same thing as back here, I want to drill it through that. Then back here in the back, there's no nothing back here, so I'll have to put a, a plate underneath and weld it, then drill it from the top down through there that way it'll have a lot more than just the boards holding it because these boards are just hell they're just basically in there holding themselves I wouldn't want to tie something down to this and just fasten to these boards but I will get these lined up and put a couple of lag bolts in them then I'm going to remeasure the uh, distance on there and make sure that it'll it's where I wanted it at before I start drilling holes through the frame Here we go with hole number one. And I already looked, made sure there wasn't no wires, nothing like that underneath the bottom. It's all the wires running down the side. need putting the washer because the washers will make that hit on the side and be crooked and that's not going to pull through. See if I can do this one handed, left handed. Maybe. Hey, I'm going to put a washer down here just to do the fact that, that bolt's just slightly See what this happens here. Reach up there and hold the top of it. Get that started. I don't know what y'all seen. And being the, close to the edge, I can actually reach around the top, hold the bolt with a wrench. And tighten this one up. That's a lock nut, so I don't want to really just tighten it down tight. If it's tight, but I don't want to pull it through the wood. So anyway, 15 more and I'll be done with that part. Okay, and here's number 16 of the bolts. stuff all over my camera. Up, up here in the front where that track comes right to here. Right across there I was going to weld a plate out like so to that and bolt it right there. So that's nothing there to bolt to. Well, we're getting ready to weld our plates up under here, like so, so that the I have a place to bolt into that cat latch or that e-track to. So put that like that. That way it won't be just hanging in the wood. Got it strapped on there, so. Ought to be good to go. <laughs> Old 
transfer key. Ground off a little bit, but the whale's going to go. Yep, nice to have a brother. Got a good shot. Them four bolts right there is just lag bolts screwed into the wood. And then them four up in the corner, they screw down, go through this plate, welded on, painted it. I mean, I'd rather be a little extra sturdy than just do the plain old wood, because, you know, that wood's just only fastened in a couple spots. This way I feel a little better.